Hello, we are here at Kroger, Dean Martin, uh, and we have uh, John Gentile. John, tell everybody uh, why you're so interested in Steubenville. Well, uh, I live here, but the really only reason I'm interested in Steubenville. Uh, I really don't have a lot of interest in Steubenville, other than possibly getting some jobs here. Um, I'm not really concerned about whatever uh, whatever everybody's agenda is or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess that question is. Uh, so how long have you lived? Kind of lost on me as far as. Well, <laughs> how long have you lived here? Uh, pretty much all my life. Uh, I left for about twelve years. Okay. Came back here to, uh, my parents are back here. They're older and up in the age. I got a couple uh, pieces of property that they need to take care of. So I figured I had to come back. My brother has a family and he's not coming back. So okay. <laughs> I'm about the only hope for them. Gotcha. So um, you're not Catholic, is, it, are, is that correct? I'm not religious whatsoever. All right, so what do you hold in your hand? <clears throat> Well, apparently this is what the Franciscans worship. And upon closer observation, uh, well, I guess, I don't know if you can see for yourself, if you can zoom in, but there's something very peculiar about this, uh, this idol that they worship up there. Um, I really don't even feel like I have to point it out to anybody. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, a phallic symbol on the stomach. It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, it's very obvious. Okay, so uh, what, why are you carrying it around? Well, I guess maybe I'd like to educate people because I found that uh, a few years ago, I feel like the Franciscan University is trying to take this town over for itself. Uh, I don't know, maybe like turn it into Notre Dame or something to that effect. And I really don't care for, you know, people that like the mints, uh, non-profit entities with government entities, you know? They don't have any business in our government. They put, they have at least three of their people in our government. Uh, they tried to get a fourth one in our government, the city council that Mark Barnes that works the uh, first Friday down there. He actually lost. And Kimberly Hahn, I heard Kimberly Hahn went and tried to uh, complain to the Board of Elections that the person that won in place of him didn't even live in Steubenville, but she was, she was wrong. And, but for her to even do that, it, it makes me wonder, you know, what their agenda is. But I already, I already realized their agenda is to pretty much take over this town. And this here I found on our park, one of our parks fence, which is government property, it has no business there. So like any other garbage that I find on a park fence, I took it down and that's how I acquired it. Now, if you ask me, that's not the only place this is gonna end up. I don't want it to end up everywhere in the town. You know, I feel like these are people that want to uh, legislate morality and uh, I don't really care for that type of thing. Um, no matter what type of, you know, what type of uh, avenue that goes down. But this has no place. This really has no place in a city government. Uh, this, and, uh, this do is, you feel that your message is received by the uh, council here in Superville? Are people respecting you? Are you are they listening to you? I don't really waste my time anymore with the city council. They don't have any clue what they're doing down there. Uh, you have people down there like Villa Magna who just leaving. They they don't want to learn the rules that govern them, but then they'll turn around and use the rules that govern them on the citizens that it doesn't govern. So that they're they're really the city council down there. They're very weak, extremely weak, and. Uh, I honestly, half of them, I don't know why they're down there. And no, I don't appeal to them because the last time I went down there, they told me that I couldn't name uh, department heads by name. But that is a rule that only pertains to them. It doesn't pertain to the public. So, you know, you get down there, you get the runaround because you're dealing with unprofessional people that really have no idea what their job is. 
Um, and a meeting only lasts 20 minutes to a half an hour anyway. They go down there, they want to get out, be done, and, and, and it be over with. So you're not really going to get anywhere with them because they're not very powerful to begin with. No. Um, it's a shame. I, I, I do know uh, <clears throat> Eric Timmons. Is, he's a great guy. Yeah, I know Eric too, yeah. but Eric, he, he's one guy. And, and the, the reality is that the Franciscan people that look to control this town for themselves, they're the ones that are going to get the majority down there. They've already tried. Um, they're going to get it. They're going to have a majority vote. And then that's going to make stuff like this no problem. You know, when a, 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 an entity from Wisconsin comes down and, and says that you're no longer, that you're not allowed to put a cross on the city seal and be exclusionary, now they're going to have the votes in city council to waste city taxpayer dollars and fight things like this, you know, that are going to make people, you know, you can't, you can't put one cross on a city seal and say that we're all Catholics because we're not all Catholics. I'm proof right here. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a Christian. I'm not an atheist. I'm not, I don't believe in Santa Claus. I don't believe in the Easter Bunny. I believe that this is it. Earth. This is all we got. Our last question. We're the only ones here. All right. Thank you. <laughs> last question. Last question, my friend. Would you consider running for council yourself? Uh, <laughs> I, I think you should consider it. I do. Uh, only because you're willing to address issues that nobody else is willing to address. And yeah, I, I would definitely be somebody that would shake things up down there. Um, I did. I did consider it. Uh, I mean, I don't know <laughs> the ward that I'm the ward that I'm in. I probably wouldn't win because that's the ward that uh, Mr. McManaman just won. Uh, and the other ward that I could possibly run in with an address is uh, Mr. Timmons' ward. So maybe, maybe that's where I may. Maybe I think I, I think Eric's there. looking for. He's, uh, he's going to. Uh, He's going to Jefferson County Commissioners. There you go. So There uh, you go, my friend. He's a perfect guy to, yeah. All right, I'm going to say good night. Thank you so much, John, for your time, and uh, best of luck, my friend. There you go. <laughs>